Hey guys, in this quick tip video, I'll show you how to save projects in Final Cut Pro. So don't go away. Hey guys, and welcome to this Final Cut Pro quick tip. If you like this sort of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And in case you're in a super hurry, I'll put timestamps in the description below so you can jump straight to the part you want to see. So let's get into it. In this video, I have good news and better news. So make sure you stick around for the whole video to find out what that is. So you're working on your Final Cut Pro project and you want to make sure it's saved. The thing is, you got to save it like you would any other program by going to the file menu option, but there's no save option. Well, the good news is that Final Cut Pro actually saves your project in the background. So there's never any chance that you close your project and lose all your hard work. So don't worry about the fact that there's no save button or option. It's all good. Now, the better news. If you want to speed up your workflow in Final Cut Pro, I've made a video on how to organize your entire Final Cut Pro projects, and that includes how to organize and manage all of the files associated with your project, all the media, library, export files, and how to keep them all together in a nice little package for when you store them away. I've been using this method myself for the last few months, and I feel much more organized and much less stressed about managing my files. Also, I've made another video on how to reduce the size of your library files before you store them. I'll show you a real life example where I'll reduce the library from 40 gigabytes down to four gigabytes, and you don't lose any important files in the process. And better yet, the process is super easy and really fast. Check out that video by clicking the link above or in the description below. So there you go guys, the good news is Final Cut Pro saves your projects on the fly. And if you wanna organize your Final Cut Pro projects, a super simple way and speed up your workflow, check out this video. And if you wanna learn how to reduce the size of your library files dramatically before storing them, check out this one. If you got value from the video, please hit the like button. It would really help me out a lot. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.